This video is about one question on linear transformations. There are two possible orthogonal transformations of the standard plane R2, so x and y plane, that leave the origin, so the zero zero, the point zero zero. Usually you can solve all these problems uh, looking at the origin as any other point. The origin uh, is a point with coordinates 0, 0. That leaves the origin fixed and send the point 0, 5 to 3, 4. Find their matrices and describe them geometrically. Okay. So I will give you the, um, a Wikipedia entry about um, about transformation matrix and uh, what kind of transformation matrix we can get. Well. Uh, It can be a rotation or a scaling a shearing it's a sort of a enlarging or enlarging can it can be enlarging or shrinking. Um, and the other possibility is reflection. Now I want to call your attention to the fact that if you look well at the points, this is a linear transformation um, with the origin fixed and sending the point 0, 5 to 3, 4. It's obvious that the, our two only candidates are rotation and reflection. Shearing is not possible because the, the, the points are not uh, sort of slanting. Um, and scaling is out of question. So we are left with rotation and reflection. On the same page on Wikipedia and on other pages you can consult the, um, the orthogonal matrix for uh, reflection. So I'm going to I'm going to write here the um, So reflection. The matrix for reflection. So this is a matrix that is reflecting a vector about a line that goes through the origin. Will be I'm going to call this the vector U with coordinates A and B. Okay, so this will be it will go A to the right and B to the top, for instance. So the reflection the reflection matrix um, is one over A squared plus B squared A squared minus B squared 2ab, 2ab, b squared minus a squared. Okay, so this is to, to reflect a vector about the line uh, this is the, the, the matrix of the transformation and 
when we finish this, we will get the um, the, ve the the vector director. Meaning, if you if we have a y x plane, and this point we know that this point is zero five. Uh, it's reflected on some three, four, somewhere here. Let's say three, four. So there will be a line here somewhere. And this line is going to be, I don't know, y equals mx plus b. So um, when we apply it now to these two points, this the reflection matrix. We are going to get a vector. We are going to vet, to get the the coordinates of this vector. And so this vector will be the the vector that directs this line here. Okay. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to rewrite the reflection matrix a squared minus b squared to a b this is really easy to, to remember to a b b squared minus a squared obviously this is the matrix for any reflection on a line, on the xy plane. This is, on, we are doing all this on 2D, two dimensions. And now our points were 0, 5, so 0, 5. I want to transform. I'm going to apply the matrix to the point 0, 5, and I will get three, the point 3, 4. So doing all these calculations, in the end we will find A and B. And A and B will be the, um, the vector, the vector of, it will be this vector, the vector that directs this line here. This line will be, it will be moving A and B. Now these calculations are quite easy. And uh, I will do it anyway. 